Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today I am adding a new T-Rex to my collection. So let's check this out. This is a new 2020 uh, Mojo Fun T-Rex. It's a huge improvement from all its previous T-Rexes, okay? So let's take a look at this. Beautifully painted and sculpted, plenty of details. It has a movable jaw. I'm going to show you guys the older version of the uh, T-Rex. So this is actually a um, 2012 version. So it is pretty big and heavy, but it doesn't have a movable jaw. And if you take a look at this, it is not as well detailed as um, the new one for sure. And the sculpt, it's definitely inferior to the new 20, 20, 2020 figure, all right? This is the 2012. So this is like eight years later. Let's take a look at this one right here. This is another figure from Mojo. This is a 2014 figure. It doesn't have a movable jaw. And in terms of details, it is not as detailed as the new one for sure. And this is another smaller version. I like this version quite a lot because it has a beautiful sculpt and it has a um, sort of like a military look and feel. In terms of the colors, I like this quite a lot. This is a um, 2016 figure, so you can see the figures are slowly, slowly improving. So yeah, well done to Mojo. So let's take a look at some other T-Rex I have in my collection. These are just a selection, because I have plenty of T-Rex. Let's take a look at some of the Jurassic World T-Rex and Jurassic Park. This is a um, pretty cool one, a really huge T-Rex. I got this recently from um, from online store. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is actually all the way back in, um, if I'm not wrong, this could be a 2008 figure. I'm trying to find a place where the date is being printed, but I can't seem to find it. Are you guys able to tell me where I can find a date? Yeah, it's right here. Finally. It's year... 2000. Yes, that's right. From Hasbro. Pretty cool. Um, it has ran out of battery, so maybe I should just change them. So this is a Jurassic Park figure. Okay, let's move on to another JP figure, which is over here. This looks like a smaller version of it. Alright, JP3. And um, quite surprisingly, the ROS are still working. Yeah, pretty cool. I've never changed the batteries for this one. I mean, this, this has been a long time. Yeah, this is all the way back in 1990. Um, oh, this is year 2000 as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a nice figure. I think this is like a remake. Yeah, oh, okay, let's just place it over here. Can't stand very well, but you have to balance it really, really well. All right, there you go. Another um, JP figure, which is all the way dated back in, um, let's see. <clears throat> I'm having a bad throat. So forgive me, but this is a really cool figure. It has um, a button right here, another one over here. Okay, it has run run out of battery. Okay, place this over here. <coughs> Next up, let's take a look at some other um, T-Rex figures. Um, of course, we have the Jurassic World Bite and Fight. You know, this needs no introduction. Awesome figure, two buttons. One triggers the tail and one triggers the neck attack. I mean the head swipe attack. Alright, I'll show you guys some other figures. We have this beautiful classic figure. Um, T-Rex, okay. This, this T-Rex is actually very, very popular and famous. The director of the Jurassic World movie actually um, owns one of this. Alright, I'll place this right at the back. And he carries it everywhere 
he goes, you know, during the shooting of um, Jurassic World. Um, another one of my very, very um, 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 favorite T Rex is this from Rebel, but this actually hurt me once really, really badly. You know why? I've actually um. I have a very very tall dinosaur shelf. Let me just show you guys, okay? I'm just sitting next to my dinosaur shelf. It is a really tall shelf. So I've actually placed the T-Rex right at the top. Okay? And when I open this shelf, it dropped down and hit me on my foot. And I had a really bad cut. And this T-Rex got hurt as well. You see this bruises right here. The paint can came off. So this T-Rex dropped and it hit me because I didn't place it very well back then. So it was unbalanced and it fell off and hurt my leg and it hurt itself as well. So that was a very very dangerous moment because if it hit my head, that will be, you know, I'll be in great pain. Alright, um, I'll show you guys some other um, Jurassic World figures and this is the Legacy Green Legacy Collection Green T-Rex. Yep. I got this and it came in a uh, pretty bad condition as you guys can see. The feet is just like um I'm not too sure. It's like opening up. So it's not in a very good condition when I receive it. It comes with a button, so once you press this, it opens up its um jaws. Very nice. Place this right at the back. Um, and here's a T-Rex. A feathered T-Rex. Pretty cool. Okay. So this is a feathered T-Rex from Safari LTD. Yep. Um, I can't remember which year this um, was produced for 2017. Yeah, nice. This is a pretty nice T-Rex. I, I like this quite a lot. It is very heavy, very solid, but I think this has some difficulties standing. Yeah, this is... Yep, this figure has some problems standing. I'll place it right at the back. I'll show you guys some other figures. Of course, we have the Thrash and Thorough T-Rex. I didn't bring all my T-Rex from the Jurassic World collection because there's so many of them. There is like um, uh, like Extreme Chomping T-Rex, there's this um, Anatomy Kid T-Rex, there's just too many. And if you check this out, you can actually rotate the tail and the body. It works very same to the new Primer Attack dinosaurs. And of course, you know, this dinosaur right here can raw, produce sounds. Pretty incredible, and you know, a beautiful head sculpt. This is one of my most favorite T-Rex ever. All right, a very very well made T-Rex, and um, there's plenty of playability in this as well. Okay, I'm just trying to balance this. All right, I'll just place it right at the back. Okay, I'll show you guys more figure, more figures, and this is one, a new figure. It's not exactly new, there are two of them, so this is the original version and this is the repainted version and both of them are from PNSO. And speaking of this um, dinosaur, have you guys you know forgotten about Little Green Pea? Yeah, so I've actually stopped making Little Green Pea um, videos because it takes up so much time and uh, not many of you actually you know, watch it. So I have stopped making the later Green Pea series, but it was still a pretty good series, I would say. So if you guys still want me to make like later Green Pea series, you can just go on to like Instagram to leave me comments. All right, because YouTube has basically just banned my channel from you know having many functions. Cause it is a made for kids channel, right? All right, this is a Schleck T-Rex. I like this quite a lot. This is basically little green pea. I feel this, you know, this figure, it's a very good representation of um, little green pea. You know, it's kind of um, fierce looking, but at the same time, cute as well. 
Yep, Little Green Pea is a very fun and jovial character. <clears throat> Schleck figures, we have plenty of T-Rex. This is a mini version. They came along with another figure in a duo pack set. I think it came with a um and Colosaurus or Spinosaurus, I can't remember. And um, this is a um, cute little figure from Bully Land. It looks like a very young T Rex. Yep, with a movable jaw. Cute sculpt. Not the most well detailed um, T Rex, but definitely one which looks really, really cute. And we have a running T Rex from uh, Peppo. I actually have two of this. Mm, do I? Um, I'm looking at my shelf and I can't seem to find it. Yes, this is a running T-Rex from Peppo, a repainted version. This is actually um, very different from the original in terms of the paint scheme. Alright, let's move on to more Schleck dinosaurs. This is a Schleck T-Rex. I actually like this Schleck Green T-Rex a lot. Yes, a lot. Like this is one of my top 10 most favorite T-Rex, although in terms of the sculpt, it is very weird. But this was this was once a very very famous um, um, T-Rex. So everywhere I go in a shopping malls, I'll be able to see this. And I feel the detailing on this figure it's on another level in terms of the colors. It's just a classic Schleck figure. You know, many collectors doesn't really like this um, cause they feel this figure is not realistic. But personally, personally, I like this figure quite a lot. It reminds me of my childhood. It, it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty awesome figure in many ways. The colors is amazing. The detail is amazing. The texture feels good. It has a rubbery feel to it. To me, this is one fantastic figure. A Dota sculpt is not like the best out there, but I really, really like this. This is definitely my uh, most favorite Schleck figure um, with the Colonel Taurus. <coughs> yep. This is a um, one from Bully Land. A classic figure. This is all the way back in. Um, it's not that old. To be honest, let me see. I'm trying to find a date. I can't seem to find it. All right, but this is a classic figure. So in terms of the sculpt, it is not the best. In terms of the paint work, it is definitely not not the best. I mean, if you take a look at the eyes, they look slightly weird, and even the teeth, it's not properly sculpted. But this is one classic bully land figure. If you get what I mean, I mean it's just like one of those figures which are poorly made, but it still holds, you know, many memories. So this is one of the classic figures. All right, I think I have shown you enough T-Rex in this collection. Um, I'll probably, probably make another huge T-Rex collection once, you know, maybe sometime later, like a combination of every single T-Rex. There would definitely be over a hundred, yeah, for sure. I think right here we have like 20? 20 of 30 T-Rex, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, yeah, it's roughly about 20 different T-Rex. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and I'll try my best to... Um, you can only drop me a comment over on Instagram, because... Uh, YouTube has actually removed comments function on my channel, alright? But that's fine, you can still leave me comments on Instagram. So I'll see you there for, you know, interaction, okay? And I'll be uploading on Saturday, so stay tuned for the new video as well. Goodbye.